Oh, look at this, chapter 5, and look at this, staples, halfway through the book. Love staples. So we're going to learn a, uh, another position on the keyboard. We know C. We know G. Now we're going to learn the little formula and how we make these positions. So we learned about whole steps and half steps. Half steps in the last book and whole steps a couple of videos ago. Uh, basically, a hand position is a set of whole, ste uh, whole steps and half steps. So we start with the tonic, which is the first note. So we go up a whole step, another whole step, half step, and a whole step. And that makes a hand position. In this case, that was the D position, just like you see down there. So you play a note, then whole step up, whole step up, half step, whole step. Okay, let's try another little one. Try it on A. So we have tonic, up a whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Leave that position as later in the book too. Try try one on E. We'll do it together. Tonic, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Try one off of F by yourself, see if you can figure that out. So F is the tonic, and then go up whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Should sound like that stuff. If it sounds like this, then you're wrong. Okay? So check those out, and then practice your D position a little bit. Try some things. Try some things like that to make you a little bit uh, smoother on that hand position, because the rest of the chapter is on Ds. So you may as well be good at it. Alright?